Welcome to Christ Centered Gamer's video game review of Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword. This is a modification of the uh, Warband engine, and this game, I honestly believe it's a mixed bag. The price is definitely reasonable. For $15, you get a full, fully functioning game with multiplayer, yet one of the great things about the Mountain Blade series is that you can generally do whatever you want. However, with Fire and Sword, there's a uh, storyline. And although it's not strictly enforced, if you do follow it, there are a lot of limitations. Like, you can only get, you know, I guess, vassals under you when it's part of the storyline and, and no other time. And, um... If you beat the game, this, if you beat one of the campaigns, there's different, there's like about three or four different campaigns that you can do. Um, I played the Polish Republic. And um, when you beat the campaign, the game abruptly ends and you cannot play your, your save anymore. So if you like freedom, and if you're or if you like playing a female character or hosting feasts or getting married, like all the other features that Warband had, you might want to just pass this if you already own Warband. However, if you want to play multiplayer and haven't even tried any of the series, for $15, this is a good bargain. But Warband has a whole lot more uh, freedom available to you. Let me just show you the uh, single player. I'm going to do this one. Okay, so it has the very same feel as regular Mountain Blade or Warband where you have an overview and you have different colors for the different factions. Uh, the factions are completely new this time around. You have, uh, let's see, you have Crimean Conte, uh, uh, Cossack, Monte, and the yellow is Polish, this is Sweden. And then did I already... I guess, oh, there we go, there's Muscovites, or Muscovites, okay, um, so yeah, those are the different factions, oh, I lost myself, where am I, okay, so, okay, so you get different, uh, messages, uh, you have different quests, um, these are the, some of the, these are both storyline quests, um, and I'm a male here. I, I have no other choice. I, I couldn't play a female this time around. But multiplayer, you can you can be either male or female. Uh, but the single player is limited, I guess, for storyline reasons. So, so very similar uh, gameplay. You can do what you can make money however you feel. Like if I wanted to loot or you know fight these deserters or looters. And, and, and get money that way, uh, or I can do, you know, set up, uh, I can do trade, I can buy stuff from one town, settle another, make money that way. Uh, Storyline progresses when you choose a faction and, and kind of like work your way up the ranks, you know, try to, uh, whoever the king is, whatever, get on their good side by running some errands, including, you know, delivering letters or uh, Getting uh, loans repaid is another common one, or, or you know, getting rid of an outlaw, or bringing in prisoners to exchange. So those are a lot of the same typical quests that you'd find in the original Mountain Blade or Warband are here. So a lot of the similar uh, you know gameplay mechanics are are in place. Um, there's just you know a loosely tied story to this. So there's gonna be some uh, some Frenchmen and a small band of armies running around. He helps in the beginning of the game, but nothing else to do with later in the game. But other than that, everything else you can... So you have the overview here, but when you go to the uh, towns, you still have... Well, actually, the towns have a little bit of... Uh, have, have new graphics like if you go to like the the Russian towns you'll have like the Russian style architecture uh, so let me just see what uh, oh wait what turn I just want to go the streets there we go courtyard let's see if this town all right a little bit different structure as you can see the graphics haven't really changed a whole lot they're a bit you know they're functional 
a little dated, but you know, a little new thing is added here and there. You know, these have got churches and, and different. There's different. Uh, the different uh, factions had different religious systems. Some are devout Catholics. Others uh, <laughs> worship Allah. So a little bit different uh, religious system here. And when you when you enter in towns, it'll give you yeah, it'll give you a little bit of a rundown. And I've seen that one of the towns has uh, or not one. Uh, they're completely random, but I've seen a status being that uh, a priest in the town is giving communion to a couple women all night long. So there are some uh, references, sexual references, and uh, suggest, uh, suggestive themes there. Let's see if I can find a. Oh, here we go. Here's a capital. Let's see what this one looks like on the inside. Oh, this is a, uh, I guess I'm at war with them, so I can't really f waltz into that town. Um, let me just see if I can, uh, I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to just bring my character over that spot. Oh, I guess I'm enemies with them, too. Oh, well. There are cheats available, and they only work in single player. Um, let's see, go to the town, walk around the streets. Now I'm just trying to see if, uh... So, definitely some new textures here and... Different style buildings for different areas, so... But, yeah, so some, some new... Some new textures are in place. Alright, so... So other than t town messages and, and everything else is there, but everything has to be tied around the story. So if you want freedom, I can't stress it enough, just stick with Warband. Uh, let me just show... Um, just quit without saving. Let's see what the, the multiplayer. See, I already started a character. And the same... Uh, there's a lot of servers. Um, some active, some not. Um, that one's good. Password protected, I guess. Or no, it's not. Okay, it's loading it up. I guess I'll be Calvary. And it's got a similar, it's the same style where the better you do, the more gold you get. And your allies have the circles around their heads. Now, Fire and Sword, one of the biggest additions to the game, there's a lot of subtractions that you've seen, but one of the biggest additions is that you can now use guns, you can use grenades. Um, the downside with the, with the guns and stuff is that, I don't know, I, I'm not, I, I don't know if, it, I don't think it's just me, but I can't hit the broadside of a barn. But then you have a little bit of a, you have a targeting reticle, but it's not always there or working. But I still prefer the sword. A horse and sword and I'm good to go. Shield would be nice, but I didn't see that as an option here. Alright, those are all friendlies. Oh, everybody's on the other side of the bridge. So let's see how fast I can get killed here. And if you could pick up speed, you can get a bonus. Oh, I got her. Died. So yeah, so there's there's grenades in this game if you wanted to use those. Uh, a lot of new different options when it c oh, comes to um, besieging. You can now use explosives to break down a wall. Um, you can poison a well if you have enough uh, stealth. I never was successful in poisoning in a well, but uh, I still do this the standard uh, ladder method of 
gaining entry into a fortress. What are all those guys doing? All those horses are in the way. But yeah, so if you like the original Mountain Blade and don't have Warband yet, you might want to consider this to get you some multiplayer action. Oh, I'm not going to make this. But yeah, so that's pretty much how this game goes in a nutshell. There's a lot of fun to have to be had on the servers, and there's different kinds of mo methods uh, of gameplay. You can do the team deathmatch, you can do, you know, castle besieging. And a lot of different uh, maps, but the engine, you know, the engine works, but it's definitely not, uh, no, I had more. <laughs> deaths and kills, but okay. So I'll be a musketeer this time around. Get some good boots. Alright, so here's a gun. And 16 bullets. You can use a gun as a shield. The AI is a little bit different. Reloading is a bear on these things. It takes forever. But sometimes when people are using their guns... <laughs> See, you can use your gun as a shield, but it ain't perfect. I do much better with a sword. Yep, that's my friendly guy. Takes a while to load these guns. But I mean, I could be point blank and I'd still miss. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, I like my swords for a reason. Okay, well anyway, so that's this game in a nutshell. I hope you found the video review helpful. Thank you for watching.